Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. It's a wonderful time. Shall we just clap to the Lord for this wonderful time that he has given us? Father, we thank you for this wonderful time you've given us. Come on, go ahead and give thanks. G give thanks. Every member of Kampala Bible Revelation Church, every member of the kingdom of God, you, may, you don't have to belong to Kampala Bible Revelation Church, but you are on this prayer platform. Let's put our hands together for the Lord Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. He has given us a wonderful time. We, are, we, we have gathered in, in his name. The Lord told me that when we gather in his name, that, 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 that is the location. When we gather in the name of Jesus, he said, where two or three are gathered together in my name. So his name is our location, is the location. He said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there in the midst I'll be. So he's here with us. The Lord Jesus is here with us. And welcome to Kampala Bible Revelation Church prayer platform. And the Lord has prepared a wonderful, wonderful time for us. We are going to meet him in his word. We are going to stand on his promises. He's going to fulfill his word because he is faithful. I welcome all of you, every member of Kampala Bible Revelation Church, wherever you are. Even if you're not a member of Kampala Bible Revelation Church, you are welcome. And praise the Lord. Let's get set. Today, we are believing God. To, we have come to pray. We have come to stand on his promise. To release the force of truth. To release the force of truth. Because last Sunday, Pastor Sam was preaching. Marvelous light of truth. And said, this light, this light of truth which comes in this month to us has come to set us free has come to do things which no man can do that you're going to heights you've never known and so we are here today to release the force of truth let me show you this scripture go go with me to john chapter 8 john chapter 8 john chapter 8 and verse 32 jesus said and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free now, there is nothing that can make you free except the force or the power of God. That you are free by the truth. Then the truth is a force. So we have come to release that force in the name of Jesus. We have come to release the force of truth. I'm telling you, miracles are going to happen. Doors are going to open. New things are going to break forth. There is coming a story about your life which no man has ever heard. Can I hear you good amen? <laughs> Bless the Lord. So, when Jesus said you shall know the truth and the truth and that truth which you know shall make you free, then he definitely meant that truth is a force. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Truth is a force and we're going to release it today. Bless the name of Jesus. I, w I want also to, maybe we shall come back to that chapter but to, to that book John 8 but let me also give you Mark 11 Mark chapter 11 Mark 11 23 we are preparing to pray bless his holy name Mark 11 23 Jesus said very I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he says. Whosoever shall tell the mountain the truth, whosoever shall release the force of truth toward any mountain, it shall be done as the truth says. So, <laughs> going back to John chapter 8, <laughs> John chapter 8, I, I'm, I'm sure you are now ready. I'm sure you are now ready. You, you can't even wait. Go ahead right now. He said, you shall know the truth, and that truth shall make you free. I want you to go before the Lord just like me. Let us go before the Lord and tell him, Lord, we are excited about this. That you released a force on this planet which can make us free. That you, can re that, that you gave us a force on this planet, which is the truth. That can make us free. That can set us free from every form of bondage. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. I'm here this evening to release the force of truth. I'm here this evening to release the force of truth. I've come to release it. 
in my finances. I've come to release it in my health. I've come to release it in my, in my family. I've come to release it in my business. I've come to release the force of truth. I've come to release the force of the Father. You said that you, we shall know the truth. And when we know this truth, then this truth shall make us free. I've come to decree my freedom today. I don't care what's happening in the world. I don't care who is in bondage. I don't care who is talking bondage. I don't care who, who believes in bondage. I've come to decree my freedom. I've come to decree that I am free. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Because I have known the truth. I know the truth. I know the truth. I know the truth. I know the truth. And I'm declaring it right now. I know the truth is the reason I'm declaring it right now because this truth is setting me free. I don't care the form of bondage I've been in. Maybe you, you have been in that bondage for so, so long. Maybe you've been in that situation for so, so long. And now you think there's nothing whatsoever that can turn your life around. But right now, begin to release the force of truth. Tell the Lord, I'm releasing the force of truth into this situation because you have promised that I sh this truth shall make me free. I don't care how many debts you have. I don't care how, how far you've gone. I don't care how, far ba how bad things have gone. Right now, the force of truth is beginning to work. Lord, I release this force of truth. You say it, it, it will make me free. Right now, I decree my freedom. I decree my freedom from failure. I decree my freedom from lack of joy. I decree my freedom from lack of peace. I decree my freedom from whatever has been going wrong in my life. I decree my freedom by this force of truth. I release the force of truth. I release the force of truth. I release the force of truth and I decree my freedom. I release the force of truth and I decree my freedom. I release the force of truth and I decree my, my freedom. I release the force of truth and I decree my freedom. I decree my freedom. Go ahead, tell the Lord. Tell the Lord I'm decreeing my freedom right now. By releasing the force of truth. Because you said we shall know the truth and the truth shall make us free. So right now, Father, I believe that this truth is a force that is enforcing my freedom right now. You can tell the Lord, I'm walking out of this failure right now by this force of truth. I'm walking out of this failure. I'm walking out of this, this shame. Yes, I'm walking out of this shame right now. I am walking out of this the, the, this bad past. I'm walking out of it right now by the force of truth which I've known from the word of God. You know, Jesus said to, his, to, to, to those Jews who believed him, he said, if you continue in my word, you shall be my disciples indeed. Then he said, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So begin to tell the Lord, I know the truth from your word that I'm not supposed to be sick. I know the truth from your word that, uh, that I'm not supposed to be poor. I know the truth from your word that I'm not supposed to be poor. I know the truth from your word that I'm not supposed to be a failure. So right now, I release the force of truth in the name of Jesus. I release the force of truth wherever there has been failure. I release the force of truth wherever there has been a shame. Everywhere I, everywhere I've been a reproach in my family or at my workplace. Everywhere I've been a, a failure right now. I release the force of truth. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of you. Now, now let us go to Mark eleven twenty. Oh, wow. Bless the name of you. Things are already happening right now. Oh, bless the name of you. Things are already happening right now. Things are happening right now. Things are happening. Mark eleven twenty three. 23. Releasing the force of truth. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. I don't care that bondage around your life. I release the force of truth right now. I don't care how long you've been on that bed. I don't care how long you've been in that situation. I release the force of truth right now upon your life. Thank you, Jesus. So, Mark eleven twenty three 23 says, For verily I say unto you, yeah, truly, truly, assuredly, 
another version says, Amen, amen. I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be removed, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. He shall, he or she shall have whatsoever he or she says. Now, this mountain, whosoever shall say to the mountain, to this mountain, whosoever shall say, release the force of truth to that mountain. It may be sickness, it may be a problem in your marriage, it may be a challenge at your workplace, it may be a problem in your academics, it may be, it may, it may be to do with your children, maybe you have a child at home, and it's like a mountain, begin to speak, release the force of truth. Tell you mountain, you are moving right now. You are cast into the sea right now. Because it's written that by his stripes I was healed. It's written that, that Christ, because by his grace, the one who was rich became poor for my sake, that I may be rich. So whatever is not of Jesus, I speak that mountain right now, be cast, be removed, be cast into the sea. It may be a challenge in, in your marriage. Speak that mountain. Your mountain in my marriage. I speak to you right now. Be removed. Be cast into the sea right now. Maybe it's a challenge in your business. Begin to speak that mountain. Your mountain. Talk those debts. Talk those debts. Your debts. Be removed. Someone has said, but pastor, I'm the one you know... Uh, someone who's preached and, and said, you went and ate those debts by yourself and now you want the Lord to pay it. He pays our debts. He pays our debts. He has, he has ever paid debts of his people in the Bible. So let's leave that alone. Speak to those debts. You debts in the name of Jesus. Be removed and be cast into the sea right now. Please the force of truth against you debts in my life. I release the force of truth against you condition at my workplace. I release the force of truth. I release the force of truth right now. And I'm speaking to you mountain. That's all that the Lord has told me to do. He has told me to speak the mountain. The rest is not mine. So I'm speaking to you mountain right now. I'm speaking to you mountain right now. I'm speaking, be removed and be cast into the sea. Be removed and be cast into the sea. Whatever is standing between me and my miracle, be removed and be cast into the sea. Whatever is standing between me and my miracle, be removed and be cast into the sea right now. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Yes, something is happening because I believe his word. And I know you believe his word. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something good is happening. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Every mountain. You see, mountains have been there for so long. Mountains are older than all of us human beings. These mountains, I'm talking about the natural mountains, the mountain Renzori, the mountain, you know, Elgon and all those Everest. All those mountains have been there long, long, long before us. But Jesus said, if you believe, speak that mountain. So these are natural mountains. But I'm talking about spiritual mountains. Things that are insurmountable. Even some people have said, you'll never make it in life. Speak one more time. You mountain. I command you to be removed and be cast into the sea in the name of Jesus. You sickness, be removed and be cast into the sea in the name of Jesus. You poverty, be removed and be cast into the sea in the name of Jesus. Someone has said, Pastor, poverty is a long story. I know it's a, it's a long story. So what? Whatever is a mountain that has to do with poverty in your life, I speak to it right now. I speak this mountain. Be removed and be cast into the sea in the name of Jesus. Wow, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Releasing the force of truth. We are releasing the force of truth. Go with me to Third John, the third episode of the Apostle John. Verse, because it has only one chapter. Verse 4. Third John 
verse 4. The third episode of John, verse 4. He said, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Wow. <laughs> I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. So begin to tell the Lord, I release the force of truth as I begin to walk. I release the force of truth as I begin to walk. Maybe, maybe you have never walked before. You have never walked in those finances before. You have never walked in that glory before. You have never walked in that miracle before. I release the force of truth as I begin to walk in these finances, as I begin to walk over this problem, as I begin to walk treading over these serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. I release the force of truth. I release the force of truth. I release this force of truth. I begin to walk on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. I release the force of truth as I begin to walk in this truth. I release this force as I begin to walk in the truth. I release the force of truth as I begin to walk in it. I release the force of truth as I begin to walk in it. I release the force of truth as... Come on, go ahead. Don't, don't keep quiet. I release the force of truth. Bless the Lord. Release the force of truth and begin to walk on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and whatever has been masquerading as the impossible is becoming possible right now in the most precious name of Jesus. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we worship your name. I, I release the force of truth to begin to walk in, the, in finances I've never walked before. To begin to walk in this joy I've never walked in before. To begin to walk in this peace I've never, I've never walked in before. To begin to walk in this wisdom. Yes, in this wisdom. To begin to walk. I release the force of truth to walk in the wisdom I've never walked before. I release the force of truth to walk in the wisdom of God that I've never walked in before. We bless your name, Lord Jesus. Oh, come on, go ahead, come on. Go, go, lift up your voice and tell the Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, I release the force of truth as I begin to walk. In other words, from this day, I'll no more walk in lies. I will no more walk. All lies are thrown under my feet as I release the force of truth to bring under my feet all the lies. The lies that you were bewitched. The lies that you, are, you, that you never amount to anything. The lies that there are curses following you. The lies that, 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 that you are in bondage and yet you are a child of God, yet you are born again. Yet you are washed by the blood of Jesus and all your sin was washed away. Those lies. I release the force of truth. Come on. Go ahead and tell the Lord. I release the force of truth to bring under my feet all these lies right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Something good is happening right now. Something good. It's like I'm hearing chains breaking. It's like I'm hearing chains breaking. They're breaking off your life. They're breaking off your faith. That devil has been lying to you that you're in bondage. Those are lies of the devil. You are a free man of God. You are a free woman of God. You are a free child of God. The devil is a liar. So begin to say, and list the force of truth as I begin to walk. As I begin to walk in the wisdom of God. Of God, as I begin to walk in this new life, as I begin to walk in miracles, I release the force of truth. As I begin to walk in miracles, I release the force of truth. As I begin to walk in miracles, bless the name of you. Come on, go ahead. Come on, go ahead and bless Him. Go ahead and bless the Lord. 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 <laughs> John 17. Let's go to John 17. Come on, go ahead. Bless the Lord. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. John chapter 17 and verse 17. John 17, 17. Thank you, Jesus. John 17, 17. Je Jesus was praying. Actually, from 16, he says, They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Then 17, he said, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Thank you, Jesus. I release the force of truth for my sanctification. Sanctification simply means separated. You are separated from all the rest. Like Rahab and his family 
were separated from Jericho, while others were getting destroyed. Rahab and his household were saved. Like Noah was separated into the ark, while the whole earth was flooded with water. That's the sanctification I'm talking about. We were sanctified and holiness. We were separated and holiness. Whatever is not of holiness, whatever is not of holiness, must live your life now. So I release the force of truth for my sanctification. Go ahead right now. I release the force of truth for my sanctification. Poverty, you're not my, you are not my portion. Poverty don't belong to me. Shame, you don't belong to me. Bad dreams, you don't belong to me. I release the force of truth to be sanctified from bad dreams. To be sanctified from failure. Yes, go ahead, tell the Lord. To be sanctified from doom. To be sanctified from gloom. To be sanctified from useless fights. Useless wars. To be sanctified. And I was separated unto peace. I was separated unto joy. I was separated unto life eternal. I released the force of peace for my sanctification. I released the force. Jesus, you prayed for your disciples. And you asked the Father to sanctify them through your truth, which is your word. I pray the same, Lord. I release the force of truth for my sanctification. I release the force of truth. For my sanctification, the sanctification of my business, the sanctification of my work, sanctification of my family, sanctification of my marriage, sanctification of my children, sanctification of my peace, sanctification of my joy. I release the force of truth for my sanctification. I release the force of truth for my sanctification. Go ahead and tell the Lord. I release the force of truth for my sanctification. I release the force of truth for my sanctification. I release it. I release the force of truth for my sanctification. I release the force of truth for my sanctification. I release the force of truth for you are sanctified from, from failure. You are sanctified from the, the, the public opinion. Whatever everyone thinking about you. You are sanctified from the failures of your family. All those in your family who have failed have nothing to do with you. You are being sanctified. I release the force of truth for sanctification. Sanctification of your academics. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Something good is, is about to happen in your academics. Sanctification of your business. That you may do business from this day. Irrespective of the situation. That you may begin to see profits that you've never seen. I release the force of truth at your workplace. For your peace. For your promotion. Even if the situation is like this, you are promoted right now. I release the force of truth. Oh, on your bank account. Wow. Let the, let the force of truth be released. Let the force of truth be released on your bank account. The force, I release the force of truth on your bank account in the name of Jesus. I release the force of truth in your marriage. I release the force of truth in your sleep. Thank you, Jesus. Force of truth for my sanctification. The force of truth for my sanctification. The force of truth. For, go with me quickly to Mark 11. Mark chapter 11. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mark chapter 11 and verse 13 and 14. Mark 11, 13 and 14. <laughs> May the Lord bless you. <laughs> it's a wonderful time of prayer prayer platform. This prayer platform, we are releasing the force of truth. Mark chapter 11, verse 13 and 14. It says of Jesus, and seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he came, if haply he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. For the time of figs was not yet. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eats fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples had it. He released the force of truth towards this tree. I release the force of truth towards whatever is barren. Whatever is not fruitful in my life. Whatever is not fruitful in my business. I release the force of truth. Come on, go ahead right now. I release the force of truth. Whatever is barren, whatever is fruitless. What, whatever is, is not working, whatever is dead, 
I release the force of truth right now. I release the force of truth right now. Come on, go ahead. I release the force of truth right now. Just like Jesus, Jesus spoke to the tree as if he was speaking to a person. Jesus, Jesus spoke to a tree as if the tree had ears to hear. I don't care what is happening around my life right now. Whatever it is, it has ears to hear. So I release the force of truth towards this situation. I release the force of truth towards this situation. Release the force of truth. I release the force of truth. Yes. I release the force of truth. Whatever is in that stomach that's so painful. Whatever is, is in your lungs that is so painful. Whatever is in your blood that is causing that disease. I speak to that situation right now. I release the force of truth. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Let there be peace in the name of Jesus. Let there be joy in the name of Jesus. I release the force of truth to that situation. Oh Lord Jesus, I release the force of truth in that situation. I release the force of truth. Just like Jesus spoke that fig tree. I also speak to that situation in the name of Jesus. In the name of Je I speak that situation in the name of Jesus. I speak that situation and I'm glad that the Lord is fulfilling his word. I'm glad that the Lord is fulfilling his word. Someone is rising from that deathbed. Someone is rising from that deathbed. Someone is getting energized. Someone that has been a failure is seeing victory right now. Is seeing victory, is seeing joy right now. Someone else who had given up on life, you are, are seeing a new beginning. Because Jesus said, no man should ever eat fruit from you. And the disciples had it, and it was so. I also speak that situation. Your situation, you never lift your head again forever in the name of Jesus. Your situation, you are commanded to die in the name of Jesus. Your situation, you are commanded from this day never ever to live again oh come on go ahead and bless the lord our time is really gone <laughs> can you imagine that our time is really gone but go with me to john 16 john 16 13 john chapter 16 and verse 13 john chapter 16 and verse 13 jesus said how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but what but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come bless the lord spirit of truth <laughs> so all along i've been saying at least the force of truth i've been releasing the spirit of truth <laughs> go, go ahead right now lord i release the spirit of truth i release the force of truth for my guidance i release the force of truth the spirit of truth for my guidance. I release the force of truth, the spirit of truth for my guidance. Holy Spirit, be my guide. Holy Spirit, be my guide. I release the force of truth for my guidance. I release the force of, so that I may be able to perceive all lies. So that I may be able to detect even the slightest lie hiding somewhere along my path. So that I may be able to follow the truth wholly. I release the force of truth. The spirit of God. I release the force of truth. The spirit of God. I release the force of truth. The spirit of the living God. Oh. To know what's about to happen. To see the things which, which are coming. The great things of the Lord. The great things which are coming. The marvelous light which is 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 coming. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. I release the force of truth. Who is the spirit of God. Into my business. Into my life. In this court case. In this challenge. I release the force of truth. The spirit of how forceful is this truth? The spirit of God is the force behind this truth. The spirit of God is behind the force, is behind the, the truth. The spirit of God is the force behind this truth. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you praise. Spirit of God, 
take charge. Spirit of God, take over. Holy Spirit, take over. Holy Spirit, take charge. Take control. You are taking me into all the truth of God, into all the truth, into all the truth, into all the truth, in the midst of this world that is filled with lies. Lord, I'm grateful and I'm, I'm thankful. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Our time is really gone, but <laughs> let me just have the, the last promise. I hope you're writing down these promises. Very important. Second John, the second letter of John. It also has one chapter, verse 4. Second letter of John, verse 4. He said, I rejoiced greatly that I found of thy children walking in truth, as we have received a commandment from the Father. Walking in the truth as a commandment from the Father. I release the force of truth as the commandment of the Father. <laughs> I list the force of truth as a commandment of my father concerning my life. Concerning my life. I list the force of truth as a commandment of the father concerning my life. So I shall not die. I will live to tell the wonders of the Lord. I will not fail. I will prosper because this force of truth is the commandment of the father. The Father has commanded that I prosper. The Father has commanded that I be healed. The Father has commanded that I prosper. The Father that has commanded that I go forward. The Father has commanded that I live, that I see miracles. I release the force of truth as the commandment of the Father. As the commandment of the Father. As the commandment of the Father. Nothing can break this commandment of the Father. Yes, 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 yes. I see my success. I see my peace. I see my joy. I see my, my, my children's children, children. I see my, my prosperity. I, I, I see my bank accounts exploding. I see my marriage exploding. I see joy in my marriage. I see fruitfulness in my marriage. Come, I release the force of the truth as the commandment of the Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, go ahead. I release, release that force of the truth. Release that force of the truth as the commandment of the Father. Release that force of the truth as the commandment of the Father. Release the force of the truth as the commandment of the Father. Release the force of truth as the commandment of I release it right now into that body. I release it in that home. I release it in that family. I release it in that life. I release it in that what, what, whatever is around you right now. I release the force of the truth as the commandment of the Father. Thank you, Jesus. Th Lord, Lord oh, all right, right now, go ahead and give thanks. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. We worship you. We magnify you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your truth. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for everything that the force of truth has implemented. Thank you for everything that the force of truth has implemented. Thank you, Father, that the force of of truth has been released into my situation because the force of truth is at work right now father we bless you father we thank you we magnify you we exalt you in the most precious name of jesus christ our lord and everyone said a good amen well praise the lord <laughs> praise the lord that has been our prayer platform today you can go rejoicing because the Lord has done great things. You may be on this prayer platform and you have, not, you have not given your life to Christ yet. But you can repeat these words after me. So Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart and righteousness. I believe with my heart that God raised you from the dead. And with my mouth I confess that you are Lord of my life. And I confess with my mouth that I'm born again. Amen and amen. With those few words you are born again. And the rest, you know we are meeting on Thursday for the hot word of God. <laughs> we are going to the marvelous light. Don't forget, this is our year of his marvelous light. This month is our month of his marvelous light of his truth. And you shall prosper in this truth. A force is, being, is already at work in your life right now. The force of truth. The Lord bless you. And the Lord keep you. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever with his marvelous light forever with his marvelous light I'm excited forever with his marvelous light 
Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. Make his face to shine on you. You shall see miracles after miracles. Miracle after miracle after miracle. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Bye-bye.